So now in this video, we're going to look at uh, this circuit here really quickly. We're going to use a single switch, a push button switch in this case, to alternate which LEDs are flashing. And uh, to do so, we have a couple here in series because it takes more voltage for them to light up. The single LED is going to pull down that voltage. The uh, resistors here, 220 ohms, that's what I normally use as a minimum for a 5 volt supply. You'd have to go higher with uh, higher voltage, of course, and uh, I should have took that into account in the diagram, but in uh, any case, this is for uh, 5 volts for the most part. So, anyways, let's begin with the build. So, we got the switch. We have a resistor, at least one here. We'll talk about that later. Coming from the positive side of the power supply. So, we'll do that real quick right here. Going to grab a 220 ohm positive to the top of the switch. Remember the top of the switch, those two pins are always connected together. So now we have the uh, two LEDs. So we're going to put them in series with the resistor and I have this jumper going to the negative rail. You can see that they head down to ground which is the negative rail with a uh, DC supply. So the line lead, the anode, I'm going to put lower on the board. I'm going to touch to the top of the switch right there and I'm going to do the same thing with this LED, putting it in series. So long lead the anode to the cathode, short lead the cathode to ground. I already have the power supply on. There you can see we have two LEDs that are lit. So of course they naturally want to light up. We have a path right there. So we have the switch here and we're going to use a protective resistor. We don't uh, need to but uh, I'm going to anyways. I'm putting that to the bottom of the switch, one spot away from this jumper. That goes to ground. So let's uh, zoom in and uh, take a look at that a little closer. Now I'm gonna grab another LED, put it in series. So we got the switch, resistor, LED in series there. And so it's off because the switch is open. It's separated top to bottom. When I press that button, now that LED comes on. Now you may notice those LEDs are still glowing a little bit. So if we want to get rid of that, we can make an adjustment. So you can see here I wrote or less. So I'm going to uh, shuffle the LED over to uh, this side of the board. Long lead, the anode to the switch, short lead, headed to ground right there. Now when I press the button, that LED is brighter than those two, but those two are completely off, if that is what is desired. So now another thing we could do is, I'm going to put that uh, resistor back and put the LED back over there, so that we're back to this situation. We can just add more resistance from uh, the uh, supply right there. So I wrote that on the notes. So if you have just a single value of resistors, you can connect them in series. So I'm going to move that resistor up. And then I have another 220 ohm resistor. Now I'm going to put that to the top of the switch. Oops, I'm off one spot. There we go. That's one advantage sometimes to wiring a circuit while there is power being provided is uh, sometimes you can tell you miswired before you test out the circuit. But in case, there we go. Now we have more resistance on this side. When, when I press the button, it helps lower the voltage on this side. We can drop the voltage enough where those two don't conduct. So that's really about it. I saw somebody on Reddit that asked a question how to get their circuit working. And based on the schematic they showed, they had a five volt supply and 150 ohm resistors. So again, what I showed you would work just fine with 150 ohm resistors right there. These red LEDs, they don't block as much voltage. The uh, green ones, let's see how they do. The green ones get brighter though with less current. So maybe they will work. But uh, two LEDs in series. Well, I can leave the anode up there. So these ones, remember I'm working positive towards the bottom, working my up way up I'm just swapping LEDs I'm wiring them in the exact same way 
And uh, there you go. The green LEDs are actually there's there's less current going, but they're just naturally brighter. So it looks like they will work in uh, this circuit. So in any case, that's it. It's just a quick uh, run through of the circuit. I did a knot gate in the last video, and so this is kind of a knot gate right there. We have the LEDs on until we uh, press the button that turns those LEDs off. So it's kind of a knot gate, but it's also turning on another LED, but we're balancing voltages. So I will see you in the next video.